Wowie zowie. Daniel, we just got back from playing Super <laughs> Mario Brothers Wonder at PAX West, and we just had the best time, didn't we? We had a great time. We were able to, uh, we had a guided tour throughout Nintendo Live, and yeah. the, one, the one that was helping us was so kind to uh, record that footage that you're seeing right now for us. Yes. Yeah, we got to play like a whole 30 minutes. Uh, thank you so much to our handler, because normally it's like 15 minutes, and they let us just play. Yeah. And, uh, and they recorded for us. So, yeah, as Daniel said, what you're seeing right now is directly from the Nintendo Live show floor. And, uh, man, we had a blast playing Wonder, didn't we? It was amazing. Yeah, we, uh, we got to play a little single player, and, then, and we got to play a lot of uh, two-player together. And uh, we played like six levels, I think, right? Six or six, five, six levels? We played a lot more than I expected we'd be playing. There was a lot of levels, and then some of those like really quick challenge levels as well that we right, went through. Right, right. Well, um, I guess let's start from the beginning. So I think the first thing that you and I both really couldn't believe when we saw in person was just how expressive and beautiful this game is right yeah like everything from the characters you play as themselves to the enemies as well they are so expressive and they email for like everything that they do all the they actions it, it really like compared to the new super mario brothers games i mean they already kind of looked a little generic yeah the this makes those games look i don't want to say like nothing because they're, they're perfectly good games but like this looks so much better yeah, like even just even just the Goombas, like they're, you, when you see them, they're sleeping, they're just <laughs> having a little time, and then if you're an elephant, you can splash water on them, and they're like, ah! Yeah. And then, and then you see uh, their emotes when you smack them with the with the elephant truck and everything. It's so good. And that's just one enemy. Right, and, and, uh, and there were so many new enemies, too, that are so creatively designed, and they just put smiles on my face like the skidaddlers. They're just <laughs> running away from you the whole time, and they're looking nervous, looking back at you, and they're like, you're, they're carrying, like, flower coins and wonder mm -hmm. uh, wonder are they wonder coins are they you the you the wonder seeds or wonder flowers? seeds that's what it yeah. is yeah they're like carrying flower coins and wonder seeds and they're looking back at you like they're you know little they're worried you're going to catch them uh there are the bull rush enemies mm -hmm. they're like that you have to ride on top of and and they just go through the whole level and you got to use them to break through bricks and stuff mm -hmm. there's so much creativity on display yeah, I can't believe how much different this feels from just the, the last new Super Mario Brothers game. It, it just feels completely a completely different game with so much more ambition put into it this time. Yeah, it really does. Unfortunately, as is always the case with getting show floor impressions, we couldn't hear the soundtrack. No. I was hoping we could hear some of the music. We just It was too loud. We couldn't. Uh, you know, we have an idea of what it's going to be like from the direct, of course. But I was hoping we could hear it. We couldn't. But that's okay because we got to look at it and play it. And one thing that really struck me was how the scale of the backgrounds. Mm -hmm. It feels epic. It feels like the Flower Kingdom is just, it has these gigantic, you know, set pieces and mm -hmm. the mountains and the waves. And it feels grander, I think, than the new Super Mario Brothers games, right? Yeah, they're, they're, they feel so sprawling and you, they feel like they animate more. So they feel more alive and that you're actually there in the environment this time around. And yeah. Yeah, there's just something very immersive about it. That's the word. Yeah, immersive is a good <clears throat> is a good way to put it. And uh, so you were mentioning uh, the elephant form earlier. And how are you feeling about that? We got to spend a lot of time as elephants today. We did. Um, the elephant form, like, I thought it'd be a little awkward or, or like, a, a bit chunky to move around because it's so big. Yeah. And it kind of is, honestly. Like, like when you, you're obviously a lot larger, so your hitbox is much bigger and you can get hurt by, by things. But at the same time, you can flap your... Uh, your trunk around, whether you're running, whether you're you're ducking down. Uh, whenever, any time that you pass by water, you put you insert that water into your trunk, and you can like water enemies, right? Uh, the environments. Um, it's just a lot more going on with that than I expected there to be. And we saw even more elephant forms because we chose Daisy and Toadette this time. Right, right. So you started off as Luigi, and then when we played together, we were Daisy and Toadette, and they all look so cute. <laughs> they look so ridiculous, but they're also so cute. Um, and we, we didn't get to try the bubble form, unfortunately. That was no. not on display uh, yet, but uh, we, we got to, I got a fire flower for a while. It works as a fly, fire flower, as you'd expect. Mm -hmm. uh, but the elephant form was definitely the big thing. And well, we also got to, we got to try the drill form, the too. The drill was there, too. That's a lot of fun. Yeah, I didn't expect to for it to be so versatile the way it is. Because yeah. like, anytime you do a ground pound, you would go into the you either break a glass um, block, yeah, and you'll go into the ground, or if you just jump up into a ceiling, you'll be digging on the ceiling now. And I love that in particular. I love being able to d drill into the ceiling, and and you actually use that at one point during toward the end of that level to find like a secret, like not a secret exit, but uh, you've got a bunch of coins running off the top of the screen, like you often do in a Mario game. 
Yeah, there was like a bunch of obstacles that you went through because you couldn't make it, but I just kind of breezed up the top and yeah. walked right past it, collecting a bunch of coins and watching you. <laughs> yeah, I, I followed you uh, on the bottom because I didn't couldn't quite make it up there. Uh, it I, One thing I will say is that it felt uh, much like the new Super Mario Brothers games. The, the co-op feels chaotic. Yeah. It definitely, it's fun for sure. We had a blast, but it, it is... It's hard to pay attention to play as well as you normally would, I think, when you're playing co-op, right? Yeah, and I think one of the most important things about that is we cannot interact with each other. We cannot bounce on each other's right. heads, and we can't grab each other and lift them up like, you're, like I'm used to in New and Super Mario right. Brothers. It's just like we're both experiencing this separately, right. but still together at the same time. It's, it's different. And I think that might be for the best, though. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I think especially because it, 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 it got so chaotic in the new, in the new <laughs> games that... It's it's still chaotic here, but it's nice not to have to worry about running into one another, mm -hmm. jumping off. I've lost so many lives playing co-op in New Super Mario Brothers Wii or U by not realizing that I'm going to jump on someone's head and then just not planning for that, you know? Just catapult And just catapulting. And, and yeah, so I, I think this is better uh, in that regard. And we were told that that was kind of a nod toward accessibility, making it easier for people to just kind of jump in and have a good time yeah. and not worry about just, you know, accidentally... <laughs> pushing each other into pits and stuff um but uh but one of the things that is similar also to the new series is uh when you fall off a pit and you're playing co-op you come back not as a bubble but as a ghost mm -hmm. and as long as you can touch the character that's still alive or one of the characters that's still alive you get back in the game yeah and uh so you know we definitely experienced that quite a few times i think <laughs> and uh one thing i really loved and i i took to care to, to make sure i tried was that they did bring the little spin jump like the, the little bit of uh, the when you press zr or zl in mm -hmm. new super mario brothers yeah you know how you do that little spin it gives you just a little like a smidge more airtime. yeah they brought that back and i'm glad because i always love that mechanic that was interesting because um that's when you took off the badge for the little hat that helps you glide down so yeah that, that's the button you use and uh, if, you, if you have it equipped you'll do that instead but right. if you have it unequipped and you'll have that little hover spin from the mario brothers series exactly series. yeah so and, and we tried different badges i tried the uh yeah the, the paraglider one with the mm -hmm. pair the paraglider Lighting hat, and I also tried the Mario Two Super Jump, and yeah. that was cool too—the duck jump. And uh, badges really add kind of a cool new element to this, don't they? They do. Uh, I'm sure you really were a fan of the wall jumping one that helps you hop 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 higher when you do a wall kick. That was cool. Yeah, we played a mini stage that was like a uh, like just a wall jumping challenge, and uh, it was the first. It was called like wall jumping one, so you, it was easy. But you know they're going to get harder later on. Yeah. Uh, but the wall jumping in this game feels great. And I did notice a little, there's like a little icon that shows, I think it's the, the icon on the wall jumping badge, but it looks like Mario's doing a Mega Man jump. And I, I was like, I automatically love this. Worlds I collide. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Um, yeah, I, even with just the five or six levels we played, it felt like every level was so diverse and hmm. different and had its own identity, right? Yeah, especially when in some of those levels you touch the Wonder Flower and everything <laughs> gets all weird and crazy. Yeah, so in the first level, the, the pipes, as you've seen in the trailers, become all squiggly, mm -hmm. uh, and you can you know use that to get extra height to get you know the Wonder Flowers and stuff, or Wonder Seeds, excuse me. Uh, and then we have the one, as you mentioned earlier, with the drill form, and you're drilling through these, like, crystalline blocks and having to, like, figure that out. Oh, yeah, the one where it's, like, chasing us down. That, that, that was sequence. amazing. <laughs> yeah, one of my favorite parts. Like, yeah, what you just said. We got a uh, we got a wonder flower, and then our handler was like, good luck. And I'm like, what uh, do you mean? Uh -oh. <laughs> and then immediately, mean? this thing just, uh, this just, it's like a crusher. Yeah. Just starts coming down on us. And we're just, we're just we're just scrambling to drill downward or ground pound because yeah. ground pounding takes much longer. So you want to have the drill with you to do that. Right. And it was just a chaotic mess. It was <laughs> frantic, and we were cracking up, trying so hard not to die. Th thankfully, we didn't. We made it through because we're we're pro gamers, right? I, I, I jumped with a Mario every now and then. Yeah, every now. Life. I know what a Mario is. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, and we played a couple of mini levels. Like I said, that uh, wall jumping one. There was also a fun one. It was just a single room, and but you're running on music blocks, and you just have to pound. Uh, piranha plants from underneath to mm -hmm. take them out. And it was just a little mini stage. You get some coins. But one thing I really liked about that is when you're running across the music blocks, there's some really cool haptic feedback, right? Yeah. It felt good. It just kind of felt like you're just running over these blocks, and it just felt nice. It just feels very natural. Yeah. And I, I just love that you can't really know what to expect from this game. Like, one of the ones I did in single player with Luigi when I got the flower, it, there was just a shooting star 
a, a, a meteor storm of shooting stars, and then every one that you collect, it extends the timer a little bit more. Right, and right. So you just want to keep that all the way up till the very end. And yeah, yeah, there was even a, a part where we didn't collect all the wonder seeds. We got only two of them. Yeah. And then we were like, well, I thought we saw everything, but clearly there's more to be seen that is... There's a lot more to this game than we expect. Yeah, I, I, I have a feeling that later in the game, some of these Wonder Seeds are going to be very well hidden. Yeah. And uh, that's that's one thing I'm li I'm just looking forward to. I mentioned this before when we were playing, but the world map, is it's obviously very much like Super Mario World in that it is an ever-expanding map. You never know where a course is going to be. I'm sure there are going to be plenty of secret exits in this game, I would imagine. Uh, and then, of course, you have in the, in the desert area, it's the open world area i say mm -hmm. open world not really open world but <laughs> it but you can go wherever you want kind of like in super mario 3d world yeah yeah you can choose to go straight for the channels levels or go for our stages further ahead yeah um, we try to go for the very end but the, the demo very cheekily said you know you need 99 wonder seeds to get past this point so we're like well that's the end of the demo yeah <laughs> at that point. well there, there was that one we tried to go right from the desert and that's the not the, that's when we needed the 99 wonder seeds we also tried to go north from this for the desert and there was like a a flower kingdom person saying oh you know bowser put this rock here and we don't have the equipment to clear it right now so sorry you can't go past this point uh, was, right now it's the demo rock that, that was cute like, yeah they, they, i love it when they contextualize and they are aware that it's a demo yeah they, they did that multiple times throughout and that was just funny <laughs> yeah it, it uh it there's just so much personality bursting from this game and uh there was also the stage where we're riding the bull rushes. You have to be on top of the bull rush enemies uh -huh. and guide them toward the blocks to, yeah. to like let so they can crush through them and you can get to items and stuff. And that ended with the tallest ply pole I've ever seen in my life. Yep. I think as, as the gold pole. Yeah, because when you get the, the when you get the wonder seed in that uh, sorry the wonder flower in that level, it's just all these bull rush enemies just come to start coming from the back of the stage they're, and they're like chasing they're, you. God, yeah, they're in the back. They, you see them in the foreground as well, all blurry. Yeah. And then they're also in, in, in the ground where you're trying to run away from them. And right. it just feels so, there's a lot of depth to it entirely. Yeah, and then they're like running up into the air and jumping and you have to like try to stay on top of them. <laughs> and it's just, it, it feels like 2D Mario is just creative again, you know, like... Again, the new series was good, but it felt, you know, by the time we got to New Super Mario Brothers U, it kind of felt like it was running a, out of creativity, I feel. I felt yeah. like just a little running out of juice, right? And they're good games. Some of them are great. But this feels like Nintendo went back to the drawing board and we're going to reimagine 2D Mario with all these crazy new ideas. And you, you really don't know what you're going to get next. Yeah, the, the new Super Mario Brothers series at, at this point, it's just predictable at this point now, and you just you kind of know what to expect going into it. I have no idea what to expect with Mario Wonder. Like, the, the stuff that we've seen, yeah. like, even just those moments, I had no idea what the breadth of creativity was going to be, and it's, it's a high bar now. Like, there's a lot going into this, and I'm excited to see. It's just nice to be excited for a Mario Brothers game, like, genuinely excited going into it, not knowing what you're going to get. And yeah, I'm I'm ready for it more than ever. Yeah, like like yeah, exactly what you were just saying. It feels like we don't know what to expect from this game. Like we, the, there's so much creativity on display here. I'm so excited just to find out what ideas or what what are they hidden in this game? What do they have in store for us that mm -hmm. we're gonna experience? And it's gonna be like, whoa, this is cool. I never would have thought a Mario game would do this <laughs> because I felt like that like five times today already. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think we've pretty much said everything we can. Uh, anything you can think of that we haven't quite touched on yet? Um, uh, you were mentioning audio we couldn't hear. I tried to play as Luigi because I wanted to hear his voice more. I wanted, oh, to right. get, I wanted to get a feel for what that voice sounded like. But it was so loud that I don't think we got like, really much of a feel at all. I, yeah. I, I heard a little bit of a wowie zowie. Like, wowie zowie. <laughs> and that, that's all I got. So Yeah, <laughs> a, mu a much better wowie zowie than the one I opened this video with. <laughs> don't worry. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. You, um, we, we might even get to play a little bit more uh, in subsequent days of PAX, but if, even if we don't, we got you know 30 minutes to play today, and it's coming out next month, so thankfully we don't have too long to wait. Mm -hmm. Well, I say next month. Uh, no, it is next month. Yeah, October. Um, but What is time? I know, what is time? <laughs> I don't even know how it's September already. Jeez. Oh, no. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I think that's about it. Uh, we will be at PAX for the whole show, so of course... This was the big one, Mario Wonder, but we uh, we got Persona 3 Reload and Persona 5 Tactica impressions up this morning, and we will be bringing you some indie game impressions later on uh, you know, during the show, so look forward to that if you're an indie game fan. And uh, yeah, thank you all so much for watching. If you like what we do here, please support us on Patreon over at patreon.com slash gvgaming, where you can support us for as little as $1 a month. But if you can't do that, no problem. Just please smash that like button. 
Uh, subscribe to the channel. Every little bit helps. It really does, and we love you for it. So thank you so much, everybody. We'll see you next time. Bye. Till we meet again.